Hi there. Um, I saw a video of um, an embossing powder, which I won't name, um, but I really liked the whole concept. So, um, like they say, um, necessity is the mother of invention. So, I went inventing. Um, there's so many embossing folders out there, and there's so many um, that we have in from from two of our suppliers. One being Creative Expression, and the newest one we've gotten in now is this from Stamplistic. Um, but there's just so many options now that I um, you just can't always get them all in. So I just thought, let me try and make uh, what it is that I saw on a video, and um, I'm going to do a couple of different versions of it, and it's going to be hard to see because of the lighting and the, the glare from this, but um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll take, I'm gonna take some still photos of this as well. To hopefully we can see it better. But um, this is using a couple of different embossing powders. So we got this one in from Creative Expression and it's called Mixed Media. And um, here is this in all its gloriousness. Again, a little bit hard to see but there's like three different colors in there like a blue a little bit of a greeny color and some copper or bronze um, so I use that so I made up this concoction and I really liked the bronze I did one <coughs> here and that little bit of bronze for, because it was lightly furnished in that particular mixed media one I, I really liked the combination of that blue and bronze together so I went and created one of my own and um, I haven't tested it out yet, so I'm kind of going to do this um, as a trial run. So we're, I'm using Versamark, just the um, um, embossing, well, it's called a watermark stamp pad, but it's just for embossing powders. So I'm going to take my Hello here and um, ink that up on the back of the um, Versamark and uh, do the embossing powder on that. Hold on. I should have put some gloves on. So let me get some embossing powder on that. Looks like I didn't glue it up, uh, uh, junk it up enough. Hold on. Okay, I've got some good coverage on that. And I'll do some of my mixture. So this is probably, um, again, you can't really see it from the lighting and stuff. This is probably um, two thirds of the, the this color is called plant, plantagenet. I don't know if that's a word. And then in that one, I put in. Um, the mixed media bronze age um, to, to bronze that up a bit. So, I'm we're like I said, we're just t testing this out, dry run here. I haven't um, pre done one to see if this was a good color combination, but I don't think you can go wrong, really. I think in anything that um, you like the color combinations. I did another mixed one together, uh, and we'll do this one after. The hello I'm using is from um, Frantic Stamper, um, and it's quite a nice big chunky. Um, hello. So I'm going to just heat this up with my um, heat gun here. And this is a heat resistant craft mat, so you can heat right on there. Just going to give that a second to cool down before I bring it up. Um, <clears throat> the other one I did was, um, it was this one from, it's called um, Pay Dirt, and that's a new one to us. It's um, embossing dust from Stamplistic, and I'll open that up as well. It's again got a, a multitude of colors in there, but. Um, Kind of looks like dirty stand, very mixed media heavy, like it's a perfect one for um, any kind of mixed media projects. So I did that one in this particular concoction and this mixed it with some Bohemian, which I'll open that up. This is the um, Creative Expressions Mixed Media Bohemian. Again, trying to get some light into that, um, which has got some gold and some different colors of reds. Just um something a little more fun and because I really love that bronzy stuff I did put a little pitch of that in there so I'm going to um, heat that one up as well and then I'll show you them both let that um, other one cool down a bit and then I'll try it on my other hello here and now the samples I did I did it on black cardstock 
and on white and I'll show you those as well or and I'll take some photos of them but they um, it didn't 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 seem to make a difference whether what cardstock you had in the background um, okay, I just want to make sure I get a good you can double you can do it you know re um, put some more emboss yeah, the versa mark on and do a second layer I'll show you one that I did do that with just makes it glossier and a little more even Seriously, I think this is the best combination yet, the one I just did there. So <clears throat> here is the um, Mixed Media Pentagonet. Like I said, I don't even know if that's a word. I should have Googled that before I even tried to pronounce it. Um, and the Mixed Media with the Bronze Age. Um, like I said, I'll take some pictures to see so you can see that better. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Like you can, you can see all the colors in that it's just really really gorgeous and here is the last one I just did and this was a little bit of a departure in the color combinations that I did but I um, just thought it would be fun to try can you see that okay um, and again that is um, so that's using the stamp plastic this one here is called pay dirt and then in there I put some of that bohemian and honestly when I'll take a close-up picture because you really need to see the photos of this because the, the color saturation is just really unbelievable. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Anyway, uh, playing with embossing powders today. One of the things, just to continue on in another vein here, um, one of the things that I did as a uh, mixed media class, we have these stencils and they are old. That was back in the, before we actually had embossing machines. And you would hand cut this out of here and this was an embroidery one so you can see where the embroidery pattern would have been but I am the mother of repurposing <clears throat> so I did this when I and I actually used the Versamark pen to trace where the embroider lines would be and it kind of even looks like it's stitched on there that was an afterthought this when I did this one I didn't even think of that of doing that on the top um, but this is indeed uh, uh, embossing powder on this metal stencil um, to make kind of repurpose something and make a whole um, mixed media piece. So I'll uh, take, a, uh, take a picture of that as well. The paper I use, Joycraft, uh, every time they do a release, comes out with these really fabulous papers. And this one's called Beauty Fall. But I happen to be a brown and tealy kind of girl, really more into the nature-inspired colors. So that one happened to work well for my particular project. And like I said, if you look and enjoy, there's a few of those out there. And when we first got this, this bird that I used here is um, a Marianne. When we first got this in, this is what the die looks like. When we first got that in, I thought, what the heck? So I had to cut it out. And when I did, I thought, oh, that's adorable. And I knew there would be a project that that, that would work for. And um, that's it here. So the different uh, pieces on the die is the la different layers of the bird. So you can make it any color you want. Um, but anyway, that this one went with the particular colors that I was using in my thing. So really quickly, I'm going to just um, do a quick embossing of that bird house for you, uh, just to show you how. So again, um, <clears throat> using it with the um, Versamark, I did use a Versamark pen when I did it in class, just for making it easier uh, on everybody. But I'm just for time, I'm going to do it on this big pad. And like I said, we so the, the, it was a. Um, at the time this is all I'd had I didn't have the mixed media but this is an ultra thick and this one's called lapis jade um, I think I'm going to do play with the fun ones today um, and I use the ultra thick I love this one this one's ancient copper I'm just gonna open that up for you <clears throat> the big chunkiness in that obviously you're not gonna want to stamp it and use it with your text but look at that love lovely big chunky chunkiness on that one uh, I'll use that for the roof on that but I'm gonna use this mixed media one just for grins um, on the um, the body of the birdhouse just to see like I said where 
flying blind here. I'm not haven't practiced this already. Haven't tried this before with these particular ones, but uh, we like to look dangerous here at Ecstasy Crafts. So we've just saturated that up a little bit. Um, and like I said, you can do it. I think the lapis jade, because I really wanted to get that gold covered up. I'm not a fan of gold color myself. Um, I did it like three times with that um, lapis jade. Let's see how many times I'd have to cover it up with this one. Might be thicker and chunkier. I um, what? Didn't the, when I did it last time. I didn't do the. I did the house like the roof, and the. Um, the base separate. So hopefully I can pull that off. A. Eh? So here we go. This is going to have a little bit of that coppery, bronzy chunk in it as well, which will be kind of nice. And obviously, everything that you don't use just gets dumped back into the tub. But if you're not familiar with using embossing powders at all, you can spray, sprinkle with reckless abandon because, like I said, it'll all get dumped back into the um, the tub. So there we have the house. I'm going to give that a heat up there. I'm just going to take that extra off of the roof. When I did it in class, I just we just versa marked that in, in the base part. So, but I'm just improvising here on the fly. So let me get that heated up. Oh, my heavens, I wish I had that when I did class. This is just gorgeous. I'll take a close-up of this as well because I don't think that's going to show up nicely on camera. But again, you get a multitude of colors. You get that chunky little uh, mixed media, coppery brassiness in there. Um, now I'm going to do the roof, and I'm going to use, like I said, that ultra thick. Um, and I did bring a pen. So keep out the put that on with a, this is a Versamark pen. So the same thing as the pad, but this gives you more precise, um, more precise uh, application. And be able to see how thick that is. I should probably zoom in on that just so you can see. <clears throat> and if I did the birdhouse part again, look at that nice chunky. <clears throat> I'm going to take that off of there, but the nice size chunk of this <clears throat> um, ultra thick embossing powder. It's just... Um, so lovely and chunky, I just love it. I'm gonna take a picture of that and um, I'll, I'm gonna double do it up twice. I'm gonna put double the embossing powder on it just so you can get an idea of the good saturation of color. But um, <clears throat> there's the ultra thick on the top and the mixed media on the bottom, on the body part of it. But like I said, I'm going to do another application before I take a picture of it so you can see it with um, some good saturation as I did in my mixed media card. But you can see the difference in the, um, the birdhouse. I kind of like that mixed media um, aspect of it. I'm not quite as glossy as the lapis jade either, which I kind of like gives it a little more um, matte finish. Um, anyway, I will take a photo of that. I will show that to you close up. I'll take photos of these amazing combinations of, of embossing powders. And um, hopefully you have, show us your images if you want to through Facebook or even just send them to me, Jennifer at XSTCrafts.com. <clears throat> show me your uh, 
repurposing and, and um, off-label or unorthodox use of, of embossing powders and other things that you have at home because I um, like I said we've all got stuff that we bought before and didn't use or whatever it's just nice to be able to repurpose them and use them and make them into something that is um, a lovely keepsake and something that everyone loves and, and enjoys like I said this was a really really good class that I taught and uh, everyone was really excited with the whole application of it all right we'll talk to you soon bye for now